Good evening, I guess. Uh, Hello guys. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. So we are live now. Uh, we are in my in my house in Abisola in Italy. We're gonna present you the new foil slalom board range for 2021. We are really proud of it because uh, it's been an evolution throughout the years from a uh, foil board that was doing everything to like more specialized boards. And now we, we go to these uh, these new weapons. So we are really proud of it. Uh, I'm Matteo Iacchino. She's uh, Blanca Labau. She's going to talk about the smaller boards and going to talk about the bigger boards. And uh, yeah. So. so I'm using the, the 81. The 81 is the medium board. We have a 91, as Matteo says. It's my board, the 81. And then it's a smaller one that is 81. Uh, I'm using the, the medium one because it's perfect for my way and my side. So this board is especially made for people that is lighter to sail in light winds, medium and high winds. So it's basically the board that I've been, I'm going to use for PWA. It's the board that I use it for, for slalom especially. And it's, I, try, I try both both um, boards and it's the board that I've been more comfortable with. Okay, let's, let's talk first about the... I'm going to talk about the big one, the 91, to start, uh, and the features uh, we have on this board. And then uh, uh, we're going to go to the smaller sizes with, uh, with Blanca. Uh, obviously, all the three boards we have in the range, they kind of have the, the same features to make the board planning faster, to be easier on the air, uh, easy reaching. Uh, what was the problem of the older boards is that uh, they were not made for reaching. They were made for going upwind and downwind, and then we were reaching on them. So then reaching, you should uh, you you would have like a, an easier stance putting the the foot here. Uh, now with these boards, with this new range of boards, you can actually reach as you do, you are on the slalom board. So you are in a comfortable stance. You can push harder, go faster and uh, it's a lot easier the whole, uh, the whole uh, day sailing or the competition you're gonna have around the world or whatever. So this is my, my new board, this is the 91 I'm talking about. So as you guys see, uh, it's kind of a short board, it's uh, 220 per 91, 91 because in PWA the maximum width we have is 91. What's the difference between the older, let's say 91 wide board and this one? This board uh, is narrower in the tail, so where you put the back foot, the board narrows down. This helps you having control uh, when you hit the gas, when you sail straight, when you are overpower slalom sailing. So you are actually more on a slalom stance, allowing you to sit in the harness, push with the legs without being scared and without having the board moving all the time around. Uh, this is kind of similar uh, feeling we have thanks to the, the narrower nose. So the node, as you guys see, is not as square as we had before in the in the foil boards. That that nose was actually helpful and nice to get planing and to climb upwind and to plane in super light winds. Uh, with the, this smaller nose, uh, when you hit the gas, the board doesn't move on the air. It's kind of super steady. The flight is a lot faster on the air because it cuts the air a lot uh, a lot more. Uh, it's kind of funny when we were testing with uh, with Gonzalo with Remy. Uh, with Tristan was kind of cool because we were changing with plugs, adding half centimeter, one centimeter, and it's incredible how much the air uh, affects the ride of the board. So if you have like a little longer nose or a little wider nose, uh, you have a completely different flight. So this narrower nose uh, allows you to hit the gas without losing control, and the narrow tail allows you to ride the board in control and uh, with an easy ride all the time. I would suggest you personally to use uh, the back foot strap all the way to the back and the middle foot, the front foot strap in the middle as I do on my normal slalom boards. Um, if you use like kind of a powerful foil, you can put the back foot strap a little bit more forward. If you use a slalom foil, uh, something we're gonna talk about later because I'm gonna introduce also the, the slalom foils we use with the boards, uh, we suggest you to use. Then you can ride it as I say, and you will have like a more back stance as you do in slalom. Uh, where to put the mass base? 
you can move it around uh, it's not like stuck in one position uh, all the time it depends a lot on your weight and uh, on the set you're using on the on the board and on the foil i like to use it middle middle back um, i use this board with uh, the hyperglide uh, uh, AGO, uh, the 10 meter, the 9.5, the 90, but I love to use it with the 8.6 and 7.8 Mach 3 says. Um, so uh, these are the sizes of says I put on this board. I would recommend you to use between, let's say, 7.5 and 10 meter sail on this board. For other sizes, Blanca is going to talk about it later. Uh, you're gonna have the 81 and 71 to use the other sizes if you are a lighter guys. To get planing, we introduce these cutouts. They're uh, really deep. They're really deep and they get all the way toward the, the front foot. The front foot, as you guys see. I don't know if you guys can appreciate how deep they are. Yeah, like this, I guess you are. Uh, why they are deep? Because when you wanna get planing, what you do is to pop the board out of the water, pumping. And if you have a really square and thick tail, it's really hard to, for you to pop the board out, especially if you are not like, super heavy, if you're not a, over 100 kilos. These cutouts allow you to, to like sink the tail and pop the board and the foil out of the water. So with this tail, you can actually generate lift and, uh, and power to plane in super, super light winds. Then when you are on air, uh, it's all about aerodynamic of the board and the power you gain from the foil and from the sail. So this is why we have these uh, kind of deep, long and weird, let's say, cutouts. They're really cool, but uh, this is why we have them. Not because they're cool, but because they're uh, useful. Uh, yeah, and then the, the scoop rocket line is kind of uh, it's nice aerodynamic. Uh, we have uh, a little kick in the, in the nose. So if you, if you fall down, if you, if you touch down, it's like a stone. So you just bump out of the water straight. You don't really get stuck there you don't sink you don't you don't really get glued to the water if you if you do a mistake in a jibe uh, touching down a little bit you just like tuck you touch and you get a get on air again this is again because of the scoop rocker line and because of this uh, this uh, wet area that is a lot less due to these uh, these big cutouts and thick cutouts so these are the, are the main uh, features of uh, of our new 91 foil board uh, the cutouts, uh, the fact that the width decreases toward the, the back over the back foot strap and the smaller nose are something that are in common also on the other boards on the 81 and the 71, uh, the smaller boards. And Blanca is going to talk about them now. So the 81 is the same concept that the 91, as Matteo says. The cool thing is also to have the, the cutouts. The back foot is more inside so it's more comfortable and more powerful so it's more steady for for planning uh, you can use it in really light winds but you can have the stability to to do in in high winds it's also made for get increase your your personal speed so the huge difference about those those board is the the weight mine is the 81 as i said and it's also a little bit lighter, so it's probably easier to um, start the planning. The 81 is um, 8 kilos and a half. It's 1 kilo less than the 91. So it's also better for carry-on as the <laughs> light person. And what is it? The straps, personally, I use it more, more forward than, than, the, than Mateo. It's great of course because I'm lighter so my back foot I would like to put it in the middle also the front foot I will put it in the middle for the mass base it depends of the sail I'm using uh, I use my 81 from 6 to, to 9 meters so it depends of the wind and for the mass base uh, I will put it um, middle front also depends of the sail for example with the 6-2 Yesterday that was uh, pretty windy. I had to put it a little bit forward because the sail it was too light. So like this, I have more pressure in the front and I was more comfortable. And yeah, that's all. Yeah, then we have the 71. So we have three models. If you are even lighter, uh, you want to go faster, you want to use small sails on it. 
then uh, that's the board you want to choose. The 71 is an amazing board uh, to sail in higher winds. When you would actually uh, go normal slalom, let's say on fin, you can use the 71 and go really blasting on it. Uh, also, if you are a kid, if you are super light, uh, the 71 can be your choice. Obviously, we are competing. We need to perform in light winds. That's the format we're going to have in the PWA in 2021. We would have it already this year, but unluckily with the coronavirus, we didn't have any competition. But uh, uh, we need a ball that we can use when we actually cannot uh, slalom foil, uh, slalom, uh, cannot slalom sail with the fin. Uh, so our balls are more light wind oriented. The 71 is something that works in windier conditions. So let's say that the 91 works perfectly between 5 to 15, 20 knots. The 81 is the same for a girl. For a guy, maybe it can go all the way up to 20 knots, easy, even something more. Depends on the condition on the water. The 71, I, I, I say that you can go all the way to 30 knots sailing. Uh, this because it's narrower, the nose is small, the tail is smaller. So the whole setup you have is a lot easier to, to, to use in, uh, in heavier conditions. Uh, so these are the, tr the three new models. If you guys want to ask something, I guess we have there is some, something. some questions before. Uh, they've been asking about what's the difference between those a slalom or the new boards and the boards we had before, like the E2 foil or the Formula foil that we had last year. So as Matthias explained, it's more tight, so uh, it's made just to do a slalom and to increase your personal speed. Yeah, basically basically the, the tail is narrower. What we have on the IQ board, for example, on the Formula foil board, or on the old, uh, old let's say, on the current, current 91, the 177 uh, uh, foil board, that is actually an amazing board, uh, that, and from that one we got to this board, uh, is that that board had a super wide tail, no? So from 91 width in the middle, we were just narrowing it down to 89 and a half where we had the back foot. Uh, while now it's a lot narrower. So with the foot more in, you are easier with the stance and uh, it's gonna be easier for you to push on a reach. If you have to go upwind, this is not your board. Obviously you can go upwind and downwind, when I go sailing with Blanca, she's on IQ, sometimes I follow and uh, we go train together, I'm on the 91. But uh, it's not made for that, it's not made for up and down, it is made for uh, slalom racing. Uh, for the weekend sailor that goes reaching with his friends, trying to see who is faster. Same concept as the slalom board. So with the slalom board you don't want to go upwind, you don't want to go formula downwind, like deep downwind. You will do like reaching and cross down, no? So same with this board. So it's basically made to increase your speed on the foil. The guy is asking what was the name of the board. The board is the Foil Slalom. This is the new name, the name of this board. Foil Slalom, 91, then 81, 71. There are the three widths we have. It's going to be on the website in Starboard on the 15th. So from there you can order. Yeah, on the 15th is the official launch. This is just a preview of the board. Uh, we worked on, we were selling on them uh, on the prototypes last winter in Tenerife, testing them. Uh, the process to, to put the board in production has been, has been long, but we, we thought it was really important because it was a step we had to do and uh, a board we had to introduce. introduce. So now we are proud of this, uh, this, new, this new board. Also wanted to say that we've been using those boards in the last event in the Italian Championship. We had all type of conditions, light, mediums, gusty, and a little bit stronger winds, and it was pretty comfy for, for all conditions. Yeah, we, uh, if you guys haven't seen it, it was a national competition, but the level was quite high. I won the, the men division, and Blanca won the women division, and uh, I was on the A1, she was on the 81 on the new board that we just received, and uh, so that the board is performing really good, it's really nice. Uh, now I would go, if you guys have any questions in the meanwhile, you, can, you are free to, to ask and uh, we are going to answer straight. I'm going to run through the foils we use on these boards, just like to recommend you how to use the board, as, as we do with the slalom, with the fin, I suggest you not to use a 46 or a 44, 
I want to suggest you some foils. And then Blanca, she's going to talk about what, which foils she's using. So I would recommend you to use the new IQ foil mask uh, because it's stiffer and there's no twist. So it's a lot easier to ride fast and foil fast with this mask. Uh, and then we have three types of fuselages. I personally mostly use the 115 black and the 105 plus. So the 115 black is the old fuse that uh, has been, you guys could, I cannot see it against the background, but uh, that w we all know because it was the first introduced by Starboard, by Starboard Foils. It's really nice and, and fast and super easy. You get plenty in light winds and get steady in, the, in stronger winds. The other one is the new uh, foil slalom uh, uh, fuselage is called 105 plus you are actually uh, able to uh, order on the starboard foil website uh, and uh, through your distributor the slalom foil setup that is made with, uh, from like uh, the iq it's, it's, sorry guys so the package will include the iq foil mast this fuse and then the new wings so we have Slalom wings, the 725 and the 650 slalom wings. So basically, these are the setups I'm using with the 91 uh, board. If it's light wind, I use the black fuse with the 725 front and the 255 back wing, minus 2 degrees, that was already in production uh, last year. If it gets windier, I can put another back wing that we have now, that is a 255 minus 2 thin that is just like the same wing but thinner that we have here if it gets even windier i can put the 200 minus 2 degrees thin that is smaller and thinner so this with the black if it gets windier or choppier i can also put the same wings back wings on the 105 plus and play with the front wings the 725 and the 650 obviously the smaller the front wing the faster you go so with the light winds I use 7 to 5, with the stronger winds I use a 650 on the black, then I go down on the 105 plus, I do the same, I go on the 650, and then I reduce the back wing. Uh, the two differences between the 115 black and the 105 plus are that the 115 black, you cannot change the back wing angle, so you have to just put the back wing and that's it. On the 105 plus you have the plugs as we have on the Q foil or uh, on the 115 plus we were using last year to to course race and then with the plugs you can actually adjust the angle and get a faster angle or more powerful angle so this is just like a brief explanation of what i use if it's confusing or you guys want to ask something just feel free to ask whatever you want there is quite a lot of stuff here so it's not easy to make it quick Okay, so for me, as I'm using a smaller board and a smaller sail, I can also use a smaller winds. So the winds that I'm using for the moment are the 650, so it's the medium uh, winds for the slalom. And if it's windier, I will put the 550. As Matteo says, as smaller is the, the front wing, you can go faster. So my favorite is the, the 500 that I normally use it with the 95 that we have in here. It's also the fuselage that we have in the IQ foil. So if you have it, you can use it also for the slalom. In the 95, you can also adapt the, the back wings. Uh, the back wings I'm using are the 255, so they are the same 255 minus two, that are the same that in the EQ foil, but I really like the 255 thing because it's thinner, as, you, as Matteo says, and you have more speed, more comfortable. So uh, the board is not going up that much up. You don't have much lift with this thin thing. So this one is the setup that I like the most. Uh, pretty much I'm always using the 95. I just adjust the, the front and the, the back wings also with the angles because I can use it from five knots to 25 knots. So pretty much this one is the my only fuselage. If it's really, really limited conditions, I will put the, the 115, the old fuselage, but just if it's 
really really light so my perfect fuselage will be the, the 95 my favorite wing will be the 150 is where I did my my record my personal record in speed and it's also really comfortable for for jiving because everything is smaller so it's more um, easier to to control it so all right I guess uh, we go for questions I guess that's all guys if you have any questions uh, ask it ask them now uh, otherwise don't ask and uh, if you don't have I just show you the board better. Maybe you can see it better if I get closer. The graphic and the stuff. Here you have the footsteps, the pad to pump. And if you are, if it gets hairy, yeah. If it gets hairy, you can put the board here, the, the foot here, and it get, gets easier. And the big cutouts, as I said, less wet water surface, easier to pump because the cutouts are really thick, as you see, really thick. Uh, yeah, the back foot is uh, is more in the new than than last year, and the board itself is is smaller. You can see it's smaller. It's just 91 in the center, decrease in the tail, decrease in the nose. So this is an overview of the new board. It's gonna get launched on the market on the 15. So to see it on the website, uh, the pictures, the videos, and to org to order it, you have to wait the 15. But uh, I hope we have been helpful. And uh, nothing, I guess. I guess that's all. Check it out. Which one is good for beginners? Uh, well, for beginners it depends on your weight, I would say. Probably the 91 is good if you are a heavy guy. But if you are lighter, it can be an 81 as well, no? I think the 81 is, yeah, for, for lighters, it's the 81. You just need to change the, the setups on your foils. Put a bigger front wing, like this is going to be easier to fly. So, uh, as I said, yeah, it depends on the way. For a, from 40 to 60 kilos, 70 kilos, I will say the 81. Yeah, probably 81 and 91 are the two easiest boards between the three. They are not made for learning, though. Uh, they are easy, but uh, for learning, there is uh, the foil free ride, the foil X. Uh, is also easy with the free ride setups. So I, I would say that if you want to learn, maybe it's not the best board to learn. You can learn on it, but it's not the best, no? It's like learning on a on a Formula One, no? You maybe it's, it's you can have the electronic helping you, but it's not the easiest. Uh, are these boards designed just to use only with a 95 plus fuselage and the new slalom wings uh, as chow rod? So no. Uh, as we just explained, uh, we actually answered you without knowing your question. What are the thoughts on say sizes for the boards? Uh, as I said, I use I use mostly 7, 8, 8, 6, uh, 9, 5 and 10, between 7, 8 and 10. Uh, you can use up down to 7, 0 on this board using small, uh, small wings and uh, obviously on the AIT-1 Using I'm using from 6 to, to 9 meters. My favorite is the 778, but yeah, you can use all the range. Also, I've been trying the 91 with the 62 and it's working perfectly. So, yeah, from 62 to 9, all, all the range. Yeah. Then, uh, then we have some other questions. Uh, say size foil sizes, uh, wind, uh, well quickly, like if I use the 95 in super light winds, I would use the seven, 725 front wing on the 115 uh, black probably with a 255 minus two degrees back wing, this is in light winds. Then I would jump on the 105 plus with the 725 front wing and again the same back wing adjusting the angles. Uh, we already talked about it a little bit, uh, obviously, going down with the sail, you have to see if it's gusty. If it's gusting strong, then maybe you use like a bigger sail. And uh, I like to use big sails and small wings. This allows you to have like power and speed from the sail and control and uh, speed from the wings because the wings are in the water. And the less drag you have in the water, the faster you are. No? So you want to decrease before the wings and then the sail. It always depends on the level you have and the conditions you have as well. So if it's uh, wavy or... It's gassy. Yeah. 
perfect. Then we have my 177 is the easiest to learn on. Yeah, I'm happy about it. It's actually a super nice uh, board. It's also good for going upwind and for reaching. This one is especially to go rich and fast. Then there is a guy asking how uh, if we did put some carbon band in the nose to get more strong from the impact. Well, as I said, we the, um, we focus on a board that is uh, designed to race on. So it's like uh, to me, it's like asking if the if a racing a racing car is made for an impact. Now, obviously, you don't want to impact uh, in a racing car because it's made to compete. So if you want to learn on it, I would suggest you to get a, another type of board. Uh, this is a board made to go fast, made to for people who are already foiling. Obviously. Is it's possible to learn on it? The the flight is easy, but if you crash, uh, being a super light board, you are uh, it's probable that you are gonna break something. Uh, it's really light. Now we want light boards to get planning faster, to be faster uh, on air, uh, so they are not they are actually fragile because of that. No, we cannot have everything. So I I would say that is not. Uh, uh, Super fragile. Actually, I had some crashes and didn't break anything. Maybe I've been lucky, but uh, I wouldn't crash too much on it. What is the best board to learn uh, free ride? The X, I will say no. It's made for this. Yeah. It's. Uh, we have a plenty of uh, of boards in the range, in the starboard range. Uh, yeah, the, the big X is uh, is is nice to free ride and to learn. Uh, how to drive, no? And it's easy to drive, it's easy to control upwind, also downwind, so it's the board for, for learning. You can also freestyle on it, so it's the board you want. <laughs> freestyle, yeah. So there is a guy who wants to see the new two wings from close, maybe you can show them up. The okay, so the this one is 650. Okay, same performance. And this is the seven to five. Okay. Not much to see about it. It's just like smaller than the eight hundred we had before. Uh, a little faster profile, just to go reaching. This is the and these are the back wings, as I said, the thin. You see, it's written thin, thin because it's thinner. It's really, really thin, and this reduces the drags and gets you faster. Then date for delivery you can order. Uh, you can get an order now, I guess, on the 15. Uh, I would say throughout the winter you will get it. Maybe a, a little earlier. I cannot help you exactly because I don't know uh, when your dealer will place the order and when uh, will get to you. I like big wing small sale. Yeah, I do like uh, big wing small sale too. It's more like a free ride, uh, easy, easy going uh, thing, no? The big wing and the small. There is this fight between the two worlds, no? Like the the free ride world with the big wing slower and the small sales, super light, and then the and then the small wings with bigger sales. With small wings, a big sales as we do use with Blanca and with all the other race guys, we go faster. With bigger wings uh, in the water and smaller sails, we go slower. Uh, then there is a guy asking because I asked because the IQ4 class is sensitive of impact. You think the IQ foil board is uh, fragile? Uh, no, it's not fragile. Like I saw people learning with the IQ foil, and I didn't see any board broken already. So it's not a board that you s feel it fragile. It's I think this one is uh, fragile. It's more fragile than the AQ. Anyway, yeah, a little bit it's more. lighter, no? The AQ has to be uh, more than 11 kilos, between 11 and 11.5, if I remember good. While these boards, as Blanca said, are quite a lot lighter. It's nine and a half and eight and a half, so they are so, quite lighter. Yeah, they are a lot lighter, no? Uh, so um, yeah, they are quite fragile. Uh, is it the same with surfing racing rule? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I asked because the IQ4 class. 
Big mast is good for upwind. Mast. Yeah. He's asking if the big mast is good for upwind. Um, I'm using the, the same mass for upwind and for, for reaching. I'm using the 95, the EQ, EQ1. Uh, most of the people is using this mass. They made it more stiff, so it's better for, for slalom. Uh, never use the longest, but I guess for wavy places it's a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think it's performing better. But it's easier, so I will suggest the 95, 95 for upwind and also for for reaching. Yeah, I think I think the same. In the end, 95 is really good. Uh, in general, yes. Anyway, uh, if you have like a free ride mast that is shorter, uh, maybe it's gonna be better to upgrade to a longer mast to get uh, better yeah. upwind performance for sure. You can lean more to the water without touching with the board, no, with a longer mast. So, in general, yes, the rule is that one. Javier, how much more do you need to learn, more or less, uh, new or second hand? <laughs> this is a nice question. Well, if you want the best product, obviously, obviously you want to buy something new. Uh, the second hand is always older and maybe it's broken. <laughs> uh, to learn, uh, if you have a good board, you don't need much. Uh, if you are already a good windsurfer planning, I would say in 10 sessions, you are falling good. Uh, somebody earlier, somebody later, no? Also depends on the conditions. If it's flat and the wind is constant, you will learn easier. But uh, as I said, these are not made for learning. No? So these are knife boards, racing boards, easy to ride actually. So you can actually learn on them, but they are not made for it, no? They are made for racing. So um, the free ride uh, starboard boards, foil boards, uh, these are made for learning and with those those boards are gonna uh, learn faster so if it takes you 20 days on this one it would take 10 days on a free ride foil board made for learning from starboard please talk about difference between mast 95 and mast 95 iq foil what is the difference so as i say the iq foil mast is a stiffer they put um different carbon so what you feel is that is more stable and that's why we are using it for for reaching uh, personally I like this one more than the other but I remember the feeling with with the soft one the old one and I can pump uh, I can pump better on it so for a lighter person it, w it wouldn't change much but for someone like Mateo it will make a big difference in between this mast and the, the old one. Yeah, yeah I would say that one. No? Uh, there is uh, almost no twist using longer fuselages and the high speeds with shorter fuselages and uh, more stiffness. So in general, better performance uh, in the flight. Will you use your slalom sails and which wing and sail below 10 knots? Well, personally, uh, below 10 knots, I either use the 95 or the 10 H AGO, the Hyperglide Olympic Sail. Uh, actually, the Olympic Sail is the 9 and an 8, and the 95 and the 10 were made for uh, the PWA. Uh, so um, I use those two sails, and as I said, the front wing I use the 725. So I use kind of a small front wing with big sails. With this board you get playing really faster so you get on air then you get the power and the speed from the sail and uh, you don't need such a big wing so i use 725 and the 10 or 95 uh, hyperglide uh, oh uh, i will use also the hyperglide olympic uh, uh, oh sorry and the eight meters for the fuselages i will choose the 95 or the 100 and 115 normal the wings I will choose the the 600, so the biggest, and I will put a lot of uh, angle in the back wing. You prefer fuselage 115, 115 plus, or 105 plus? Uh, I do not. I do not personally prefer any of them. It's more about uh, what you want to do with them. No, so. Maybe actually, I prefer the 105 plus just because I like sailing in higher higher uh, winds, no? 
but just this is just like an idea. The point is that if you say it in a place that is always super light and you want to go also a little bit upwind, then you, you can go for the one, 115 plus because this is a fuselage that brings you upwind and gives you power and you, uh, you pump, you get on air soon and everything. No? If it's already a place that is gusting stronger as my place, I'll be sorry, it's a place super gusty. So for example, you get like, uh, I don't know, three, ho three knots in the hole and then you have a gust of 15. So in this place the, with the plus, you are struggling a bit. So with the 115 black, uh, you have like a steady flight. So you get power to pass through the holes, but in the gas, you're not killing yourself. And if you set in higher winds, then the 105 plus is really, is really good, no? Because it's shorter, it's more compact, easy to ride. You can adjust the back wing angle. So this is uh, just about the wind, no? I would say. I think it's the same for everyone. Yeah, it's the same for the lighters. We, we choose a longer fuselage if you want to be more steady or be gusty. If you want to go upwind, you're using a long one. If you want to go faster, I will choose the, the 95. Same for the boards, no? If you are lighter, you use a bigger board. If you are a smaller board, if you are heavier, you use a bigger board. Uh, if it's light winds, you use big sail. If it's strong wind, you use a small sail. So you change because of the conditions. What is your best setup with 10 knots and C not so calm choppy? Uh, I like using uh, the with the knots the 95 AGO with 7 to 5 front wing on the 115 black and the minus 2 degrees 255 back wing. Yeah, we said already the the 8 meters the 695 fuselage. I will choose the the angles depends of the the gas depends of the wind. Okay, guys. Anybody else uh, asking? Feel free to ask uh, what you want. I guess we ran through all the questions we had. Uh, at the lighters, there was a guy asking about the how many liters the board have. Uh, the eighty-one have one sixty-seven. This is 192, the 91 is 192, and the 71 around 140, I would say. I actually do not remember exactly the... The leaders, the but leader the, of the, the 71. is the, the wild of the board. Yeah, I can actually... It's performing, it's performing better on the speed. I can actually ask you, because I have the data here. Uh, the point is that when we test many times, so the 71, yeah, as I said, around 140, so it's 145 liters. So 145, the smallest uh, slalom racing board. And then uh, that's it, I would say, if there is nothing new. Yeah, yeah, we just, we just answered. Sorry, I was missing your, uh, your question, Son. Um, Yeah, I guess you guys want to ask something more, uh, otherwise uh, we are done. Uh, well, I don't see, I don't see any more question. Uh, I personally hope that you enjoy the life and I hope you will enjoy riding these beauties. Uh, they're amazing boards. I really love sailing on them. It's super easy and fast and I will, I would love to compete on them soon again. So thank you for, so much for, for watching and for the questions. Uh, we have some videos on YouTube from our first trial and our top speeds. So check it out and see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Ciao. It's been a pleasure. Ciao, ciao.